The growing popularity of online shopping is changing the retail business and affecting everything from shopping malls to the shipping industry. It also means that items are returned in greater numbers than ever before. This morning, we're taking a close look at where do those returns go after you send them back. Janet Chamlian is in Houston, Texas, to show us why, if you return too much, you could get blacklisted. Janet, good morning. Gail, good morning to you. Stores like Best Buy move tons of electronics out the door, but you might be surprised at how much of it comes back in. In fact, for online sellers, the return rate is as high as 30%. It's all created a massive secondary market, and now some stores are watching you more closely than you might think. Welcome to the land of buyer's remorse. Towers of toys, mountains of merchandise. This Texas warehouse is the size of two football fields. And just about everything in it is something someone changed their mind about. 400 truckloads a week, bikes, large appliances, clothing and electronics. Similar items like cell phone cases and chargers are boxed together and sold as a lot. All of it then goes up for sale or auction online. Sites like liquidation.com and secondipity.com. Every box we open or every pallet we open, you never know what's going to be in it. Ryan Johnson of Liquidity Services, a major player in the almost $400 billion business of flipping returns, like these rows of iPads, being wiped of personal information and readied for resale. Why don't the retailers resell it themselves? A lot of it is box damage. And so if you go in and you want to pay full price at a retailer, you want it in pristine condition. <laughs> And handling returns themselves cuts into a store's profits. Free shipping and liberal return policies have made it easy to get a refund for almost anything. 11% of all purchases are returned. Many stores track how much merchandise a customer returns, sometimes denying future returns based on their history. There should be no secret databases. Customers should be aware of everybody collecting information. Consumer advocates like Ed Mirzinski are concerned that data is increasingly being shared among retailers, creating a database of serial returners. I encourage any consumer who's been denied the right to return a product because some database they didn't know about said to the company, don't let him return that product. You should complain to the Federal Trade Commission. Best Buy discloses its tracking policy in fine print on the customer's receipt. Some stores don't. This time of year, the warehouse overflows with one item in particular, big screen televisions. In fact, they start flooding in right after the Super Bowl, and it continues for several weeks. Many people buy them specifically to watch the game and then return them immediately after. Rafael Gaetan bought 25 of the return TVs as he does almost every week. A TV like this is 75 inches uh -huh. for about uh, 600, 650. 600 or 650 from yes. here you buy it. Yes. And you can sell it for? For $1,000. Like many of the buyers here, flipping it for a profit is his full-time job. Everybody's always looking for this. And the business of customer returns, as the marketplace allows fickle shoppers the chance to change their minds. So how do you know if you've returned too much? Well, short of buying 10 pair of shoes and returning nine, you probably won't until you go to take something back and that return is refused at the store. The so-called wardrobing of items, like you saw with the TVs, buying it, using it, taking it back, is a growing problem for the industry. Those items are resold, but it's just pennies on the dollar. Biana? Well, I have to say, Janet, that's the first time I heard about flipping televisions, yeah. especially around the Super Bowl. Thank you. <laughs> that was a real Texas-sized <laughs> warehouse, yeah. too, right? Yeah, I often buy two sizes, like a 10 and a 12, and then return one. I guess they don't like you to do that. Yeah. Are they giving Does you more of a hassle me? these days? No. no. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe after today, that'll change, Biana. Yes. Maybe after today, <laughs> that'll change.